Indeed. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It's time for Full Circle. Uh, I'll get into that in a second. Yeah. Quiet. Girl. Yes. I mean, you're having a moment. I got to get, can I, let, let, let us breathe. Uh, Stacey uh, Abrams had to leave. She had a yes. heart out. We're so grateful for her yes. being yes. here with us. Yes. But you are emotional. We're all emotional, yes. but you can see it on Quad's face. What are you feeling right Just, now? I've hurt so much. Oh. Well, you know, I this really is really Shirley love her so much. <laughs> what makes you feel I, that I love way? everything that she stands for. I love her passion. I love her fight. I love that she's for the people. Yes. And you, it's not a hoax. It's not no. for something to do. She's not self-serving. And I love her for that. She gives me so much hope for she Georgia. Gives hope. Yes. Yes. She, yes. she gives hope. She but she gives hope, hope for black women. Yes. And, and women yes. and, and, and women in general. general. Yes. yes. But really us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because she looks like us. Yes. yes. She does. And, and, and what in the... the, the, the the variety of things that she, that, of talent that she has. Yes. And she has so much, oh my God, so much everything. So yes. much to offer. Yes. So much to offer, but just yes. so much knowledge mm -hmm. and strength. Yes. And she just speaks in strength and, and assurance. And it's just, it's this real is, fun. Yeah, this is it's only the beginning. It is. We knew about Stacy, yeah. but now the world knows about yes. Stacy. And I think, uh, like you said, so many other young people, or yes. women, are going to say that I can. Yes, yes. that's because right. Because she right. did. And that's even right. though it didn't get to what the result wasn't what we wanted, wanted it, it to be, right. but it's not over. Yes. Right. Yes. See, just because that one no doesn't mean that that begets all the rest exactly. of the yes. Yes. Exactly. Absolutely. She has so much fight in her. Yes. Yes. You know, and then she, she takes that no, she's like, no, no. That's a big negative. So yes, yes. <laughs> because it, it resounds so much. Because yes. when when you look at her, and then she has just so much passion and mm -hmm. so much compassion for everyone else yeah. at the same time. Yeah, you can't help but to just right. love someone like that. Yeah. You can't I mean, help it. Yeah. You, so relatable again. And as we move into full circle for a few minutes, uh, just relatable. I mean, she's a hometown girl. She's from Decatur, Georgia. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, she was born somewhere else, but she went to high school in Decatur, and then she studied at Spelman. Yeah. This is this is who we are. She's yeah. just so the fabric cool. of who we are. Writer, she's so yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Just, oh, she's, she's amazing. I love yes. her. Just amazing. Right, absolutely. Yeah, like, like in the word, like the word in a dictionary, amazing, then there's Stacey A. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yes. That's right, the right. So, um, ladies, have you ever experienced a trip like she had it, it, to the mansion where someone, she talked about that story where yeah. someone denied you wow. by the way you looked mm -hmm. or the circumstances that brought you there? Has anyone ever experienced anything like that? Well, I have yeah. in the music business. Mm -hmm. um, and in the music business, it's, it's, a, it's double. It's African American and it's woman. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, wh when I came to my first record label, which was Jive Records, because they're dissolved now, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's gonna be in a book later on. But, you know, Jive Records, they didn't n necessarily deny me, but they denied qualities of me. Mm. So I couldn't be my whole self, self yeah. there. Wow. And that's that's the same concept, you know, like she was denied at the gate, but then she was able to get in, but she didn't remember any yeah, of that yeah, because exactly. she remembered that, you know, right. and that's the, that's kind of what I went through with Jive Records. It still Im impacts me today mm -hmm. that I was denied because of my size or, you know, the sound and the tone of my voice being so deep at yeah. a young age, you know, so. It's just, it's tough being a woman out here. In the <laughs> it really is. <laughs> and which is why, you know, shows like ours, uh, we, I mean, we're very unique in yes. and of itself that yes. we have the platform yes. to be able to speak these truths. I mean, yeah. I had one as well. I was talking to my husband last night about, you know, things, uh, you know, different scenarios in my life that changed the course of my life. Yes. And I remember being, coming off of maternity leave, mm -hmm. and you all have heard this story, but mm -hmm. anyone who's new to our uh, our show, coming off maternity leave and radio and being replaced by the afternoon guy and for no apparent reason. And the only reason, well, no apparent reason, the apparent reason was because I was a woman. Yeah. And that particular program director liked men to lead in morning radio, which is traditionally true. Yes. You hear a lot of men leading in morning radio. But I told him, and he took us to a meeting, I would not be having this conversation, we wouldn't be having this conversation if I had a different genitalia. I did. Mm. And then I, but that shaped me. Mm -hmm. And everything that happened in that year, I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it changed wow. who I, I was. But my, 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 my um, uncle is a labor lawyer, and he was like, hey, you have a pregnancy discrimination lawsuit, but do you want that to hover over your career? So we have to make decisions <laughs> like that. Mm. Well, well, let me ask you well, ladies I still would have sued him. <laughs> <laughs> I would have got my suit all the way on. I know, yes. that's right. Yes. Well, let me ask you ladies this. And based on the video that we saw yesterday, Yesterday yes. with the McDonald's employee and yes. how we were talking, how Trina brought to light that, you know, where were the men mm -hmm. that protected her? Do you feel that it is a just a general 
um, you know, energy out here that our men don't protect their women. Ooh. Because in that predicament and in my predicament, where were the men, just men in general really, that stand up for women, you know, not just our rights, but just a decent opinion. Right. Ooh. Just decency. Or decent protection. Come on. Protection. Protection. Yeah. Yeah. You know, is that the energy? Is that what moves this Time's you, Up Me Too movement? I you know, I, I, I don't want to think that it's that. I think that it's more of an individual situation, individual basis. I think people more so like to detach themselves. Oh, oh that's not my fight. I don't have anything to do with that, so I'm not getting into it. Uh, it's, it's not that sense of unity anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I, I really hate that. I do often feel that African American women are the least respected yes, 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 uh, girl. in our country. I mean, yes. we, work, we we do work the hardest. You know, mm -hmm. we raise children. We have highly educated. Jobs. Huh, that's you know, what we're, we're there to support the men, but often we don't receive that same support. Right, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm saying. What is the fiber of that? Does it go all the way back to slavery when there was separation between our families? Well, I, like, I, what is I the psychology I, behind that stereotype? I, I, don't, mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think that. I, I do think that, you know, women have, it's not that we want to have to stand up and be so strong. I think we've been forced to take on that role. When you break down the family, when the, the broke, when the Come family... Come on now has been systemically Co broken down. Rashawn, come on, mm -hmm. come on through. Then therein lies come so on. much that our men have had to endure. Mm -hmm. Tell it. Hence them stepping back mm -hmm. and watching a woman being assaulted uh -huh. because of the fear of because, they because, because, because what would have happened to, to him? him. Yes. Uh -uh. Yeah. It's, it's a deeper underlying. Yes. It's a deeper yeah. underlying. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed uh, this couch uh -huh. conversation. <laughs> 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 That's it. Uh, uh, we'd love to hear how you feel. We had a plethora yeah. of conversations, but that's how it is. When you get with your girlfriends on the couch, anything we can just come up. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. We need more women to run like Stacey. Yes. 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 Uh, Shirley Chisholm, <laughs> I think you're next. Some I think you're next. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. I think you're next. She gonna win. <laughs>